Concerning the last uh, equation, the static efficiency condition for the resource uh, uh, royalty, uh, initially, if you look, the equation seems pretty complicated, but actually when you try to analyze it using the flowchart, then it, it's easy to, to understand what does it mean. So we are speaking about uh, the um, control, vari control variable of to choose the level of uh, resource to extract. And uh, the, um, for this uh, uh, decision, the marginal uh, cost of uh, extracting the resource or the marginal benefit of uh, not extracting the resource is the price of the, of the royalty of the resource, which is the marginal benefit. Well, the marginal benefit, it is what we already saw, the, marginal productions that multiply either the value of, uh, uh, of the shadow of price of the capital or the marginal consumptions and uh, that's this term here and both are positive then this is the gross uh, benefit because in reality there are some extraction costs that you need to account for so you need to remove uh, extraction uh, uh, the marginal extraction cost valued at the uh, shadow price of capital and this is here however in this model now we have some negative effect of the um, of the resource of extracting the resource and one is uh, the increase on the environmental pressure, how much? Well, the marginal increase of the resource. And what is the cause? This cause a marginal difference of utility. So you have to add these terms here. We saw, however, that the environmental pressure has an effect also on the production. So we have marginal environmental pressure by marginal uh, production uh, uh, by increase of uh, environmental pressure valued at the shadow price of capital and is uh, this term here. Finally, you have to add also the fact that you have a marginal increase of the pollutions and this marginal increase of the pollution is must be evaluated at the shadow price of uh, the pollution stock and hence here you have the last terms so this is how to say there is the gross benefit here and uh, this gross benefit here must be reduced by all uh, the negative uh, uh, effect of extracting the resource either explicitly with a minus because they are positive or because the effect itself one of the uh, derivative is negative so you just add them but all of these are uh, have a negative sign while uh, if you recall uh, last lesson we saw that uh, under certain hypothesis uh, a set of uh, competitive firms uh, uh, that maximize their own profit would uh, also uh, lead to uh, conditions that are equally equal to the socially optimal uh, depletion program, the benevolent dictator. Well, now we can no longer say that when we introduce pollution. And the basic idea is that in order to do that, the dam the the dam damage uh, given by extracting the resource should be taken into account, but the price that the firms would consider it would be the market price, and the market price would include only only what only the net price and the marginal extraction cost. That's what the firms pay, but. Uh, the damage components would not be taken into account. So uh, it, in order to bring back these two things together, it would be needed a, a tax that put together the uh, marginal uh, benefits for the society with the marginal cost of, uh, for the society as well of extracting the resource. And uh, this tax so should be equal 
to the three damages uh, made by uh, extracting the resource. So if this one is the net price and this one is the price when we consider also the extraction cost, and here we have the time scale and here we see how the various uh, uh, prices evolve till uh, the, the, the gross price. Here we see that the markets, the, the firms in a market economy, even in a competitive market economy, would consider only this price. And uh, hence the difference with the gross price is the amount that a tax should uh, uh, an optimal tax uh, should be should be made with and another important thing is that we see that here this tax shouldn't be uh, uh, constant at any moment in time but as the price as well also as the net price also the tax should increase uh, with uh, with time and in particular in case of climate change so which do you think that would be the highest uh, component of this damage? Well, this is a bit poorly drawn, or it is, it is a drone in general, but in case of climate change, we have uh, the damage made by extracting the resource, uh, uh, the, the local damage that create environmental pressure, but the big of the damage, it is in the stock, it is in the fact that consuming fossil fuels generate uh, carbon dioxide and uh, we are most concerned about this damage. So this stock damage tax would be the one, the component that would be the, the highest. So, to continue from the previous slide, if uh, this is the level of uh, extraction the resource and uh, here we have units of uh, utility because I recall we are uh, making all uh, not in monetary units but our maximization is in terms of uh, utility. These are the marginal uh, cost, that is uh, the the value of the resource that uh, in, in in situ that I have to uh, gi give give away plus the um, the extraction cost and this is the private marginal cost on the other side we have the marginal benefit that is the marginal product that multiply the marginal utility of consumption or omega is the same so the optimal tax should be set at the difference between the mar private marginal cost and the public marginal, uh, uh, the, the, the social marginal cost that includes also the damage uh, cost. Only fixing a tax at this amount of level, we, we go back to uh, social marginal cost equal to social marginal benefits. And we notice here that this again is a snapshot in times, but we saw in the previous slide that the tax has to go with time to maintain this balance through at any given point in time.